Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Feb is here and so is Valentine's. It is the month of reds and pinks and lots of roses around. Love is in the air. So if you're planning to head out for a Valentine's Day party or maybe a special day with your loved ones, look no further. This is the tutorial you need to follow. This look can go along with practically any outfit that you're planning to wear for your Valentine's Day. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. As usual, we will start with a primer. You may use any primer that you have and wait for 2 minutes for it to settle in your skin. Next on, we move to the brows. Fill in the sparse areas of your brows to give a clean look. For a detailed brow tutorial, head to the link in the description box below. Now using a flat brush, apply concealer all over your lids. This will act as a perfect base for your eyeshadows. Also, outline your eyebrows with the same to give a more defined look to them. Now blend the concealer well using gentle dabbing motions till no harsh lines are seen. Set the concealer using a setting powder. This will prevent the concealer from creasing into your fine lines and wrinkles. Now to get that beautiful dewy look, we will be using a liquid illuminator beneath our foundation. You can even apply this all over your face, however in this tutorial I have limited to the high points of my face. As I have a combination to oily skin, I usually limit myself to a matte foundation. The good thing about using a matte foundation is that you can always play around and mix it with a liquid illuminator to give you the desired amount of glow that you want to achieve and target that glow to the specific areas you want. Blend the foundation well. I usually prefer applying the foundation with a brush first and going over it with a damn beauty sponge. So as you can see, I have skipped the concealing under my eyes and moved directly to the contour. And if you're wondering why, I was so happy with the coverage this foundation gave me that I didn't feel the need to. So basically what you do is use a cream contour stick and draw the figure 3 on either sides of your face. And using a damn beauty blender, blend it across your face till no harsh lines are visible for a flawless effect. Now using a fluffy brush, apply the setting powder under your cheekbones, over the forehead, on the bridge of your nose and in general lightly dust it all over your face. Now with the help of a blush brush, apply your favourite blush starting from the apples of your cheeks and drag it all the way to your temples. We now move on to the highlighter. Use a fan brush and apply the highlighter all over the high points of your face. Now use the same highlighter and using a pencil brush, apply the highlighter just under your brows on the brow bone. And with this we move on to the eyeshadow application. So for this particular Valentine's look, I had decided to go all shimmery on the lids which means I will be using all the matte shades for my transition colour as well as the crease colour. I will not be touching any of the shimmery shades unless it comes to the lid application. Over here, I have used the shade Sandalwood from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette as a transition colour and now I am moving on to the crease. So for the crease, I have used a shade Coco from the same palette which is a deeper brown and using a pencil brush, I am going to mark the crease. Now I am going to blend it outwards using a fluffy blending brush and merge it with a transition shade used before. Now using my fingers, I am going to apply the beautiful pink glittery shade called Pink Diamond from the same palette all over my lid. No wonder this palette has become a favourite of mine. The shades are super pigmented, super blendable and very easy to apply. Now I'm going to go back to the same shade called Sandalwood and apply it on the outer one third of my lid and blend it with the pink diamond that I'd used before. Just gentle dabbing motions to place the product, no swiping. 
And now for the showstopper of this look, the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Rose Gold Retro. Just dab a small amount of this liquid eyeshadow on the center of your lid and blend it using a flat blending brush. This gives you that gorgeous glossy wet lid look. Now coming to the lower lash line, using a pencil brush, apply the shade Coco all over the lower lash line. Now use a glitter shade Pink Diamond and apply it just on the inner corners of your eyes. Now apply your falsies with a coat of mascara and a nude eyeliner on the lower waterline. This will help pop your eyes up and make them look bigger. Line your lips with your favorite coral lip liner and also fill them up. Now top it up with your favorite shade of lipstick. In this tutorial, I am limited to pinks and peaches, so I have gone with the Lakme Masaba Cotton Candy. Now back to our showstopper. Dab on a small amount of the liquid glitter eyeshadow on the center of your lower lip and so also on the cupid's bow. Blend it with your fingers. And now look at the difference that makes. Now seal this beautiful look with a setting spray and we are done. Regardless of your relationship status, Valentine's Day is the ideal excuse to deck out your face with gorgeous makeup. Because why not? So whether you've got a hot Tinder date, are having a romantic dinner with your special one, or just eating chocolate and pizza with your roommate, you now have your makeup look covered. And yes, do follow me on my Insta page. And please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. I will see you the next time with another video. Till then, stay beautiful.